Hi and welcome to the second episode of Surviving the Elements with HD. Here I'm gonna be playing the extra short mode because uh, I think the early game is a little bit boring and uh, there is not that much to learn from it. Alright, what we have is Earth level to nature, fire and water, which means we have vapor towers and solar towers, mushrooms and geysers for our dual towers and then we have uh, wells and blacksmiths for our support towers and haste impulse golem and quake for our triple towers. Next wave is going to be nature and since it's cursed uh, it's better to have a large number of uh, weaker towers rather than a small number of stronger towers and for this reason I'm not gonna be building haste towers but I'm gonna be building solar towers instead whenever uh, there is a cursed wave it is uh, better to spread your towers so that when uh, yeah, when creeps die, the curse will be applied only to one of your towers. Otherwise, it will be applied to any adjacent tower that uh, there may be next to uh, that dying creep. Now, uh, here as we can see, these towers were more than enough to uh, deal with this wave. And we'll replace the solar towers with vapor towers. Uh, since uh, the uh, fire creeps uh, will take extra damage from a um, tower that does water damage. So as you can see, it does so much damage to these creeps that they just melt. Now, since these creeps are far away from this location here, we can sell our towers to get the money from the interest rate and and once no more uh, creeps are coming from here we can remove these towers that were made only only to trigger the shields and uh, now we can add a couple of golem towers because they are good at uh, finishing off creeps while the vapor towers will continue to deal massive amounts of damage which is exactly what we want we can sell these towers right about now build some well towers the creeps have taken enough damage so that it will not be a problem for us and we will be able to kill them. We can add a couple of well towers and a couple of blacksmith towers that will boost the rest of our towers while also providing their own little bit of damage. We can also sell two of the wells and um, upgrade to an impulse. And now that uh, these towers are out of range we don't really need them and we can also sell these blacksmiths and upgrade all of our towers to impulses because they are the best against the elemental that just came and we had to deal with. Now we can sell for interest, no problem, but next wave is um, shielded. One nature tower targeting to back will... Um, will do a great job here um, a bunch of uh, these uh, mushroom towers upgraded will deal a very significant amount of damage here and as we can see uh, the creeps lose more than half of their hit points um, the only thing that worries me right here is how bunched up these towers are and that uh, if these creeps don't die here they will get out of range 
of these towers and uh, might leak just because they are shielded. Um, I have had in the past problems like this um, with shielded waves and I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. If, you're, if all of your towers are bunched up in a specific location and uh, shielded creeps uh, get their shields activated exactly where uh, your most of your towers are, uh, you are then in a massive amount of trouble since um, there is you you have no towers elsewhere. You need to have towers everywhere in this situation. All right. We don't have any uh, fire towers, which means uh, we don't have to, to sell right now any fire towers. Um, if we had a bunch of uh, towers dealing fire damage, we uh, would have had to sell them because this is a water wave. But now we can be um, calm about this situation. And also we don't have darkness towers, so we don't have to um, add anything here. However, next wave is uh, fire and we uh, desperately need to build towers that deal water damage. And sell all of those that, that deal earth damage. Because we cannot afford... Um, to our to have towers that that deal uh, fifty percent damage, we need all our towers to deal two hundred percent damage, so that we can clear the wave very quickly. And if we are playing against uh, a human opponent, we will definitely uh, get an edge this way, and um, certainly uh, we will be safe against any sort of. Uh, aggressive play. By aggressive play I mean when your opponent is building uh, very powerful towers uh, dealing lots of damage near the uh, entrance where uh, the creeps arrive. Next wave, healing. I have found out that um, quake towers in this location are amazing. Uh, Especially if we have some kind of, of swole to add here. I'll add a few well towers, but I'm gonna sell two of them and upgrade the other two into uh, golem towers. So I'm not um, wasting um, the potential damage that I can add here. Next wave is another darkness wave I guess I will build some well towers and I'm gonna sell them and replace them with blacksmiths and in this wave I'm getting all the bonus damage that I can these solar towers are adding a nice amount of damage but it's gonna be better to have I guess some towers here to finish creeps off if anything should reach here. Next wave, however, um, requires nature damage. Well, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Maybe just add a couple more of these golem towers maybe target these to strong so that they don't overkill the front creep too much and i think we'll be fine yeah but these quake towers are not gonna help us with the next wave uh, we are in desperate need for the solar towers and maybe some blacksmith towers these three haste towers are good um, they do um, benefit a whole lot from well towers because each attack makes them as you can see 
each attack increases its attack speed so uh, well towers making the haste towers shoot faster will make them um, do more attacks and therefore uh, they will um, rev up more quickly if you're not sure how um, haste towers function uh, the more they shoot the faster they shoot which is great really all right i think we have enough to clear this wave and we should prepare for the elemental that's gonna come very soon after this wave we should probably sell everything except maybe oh no oh this is bad this is bad i hope the golem tower is gonna kill it yeah golem tower is absolutely phenomenal against elementals all right now that we have a, a little bit more money i think we should build um more of these towers all right these towers maybe even um, target far so that they change targets a little bit more and some wells that will uh, provide a, a very big bonus to well i'm worried now I, i'm seeing that my towers are not killing the creeps so far maybe just retarget to to front or something i don't know but next wave will be very tricky i'll have to be quick here maybe maybe add a few a few of these blacksmiths and wells to to get the the damage up on my towers because um, they now don't have enough damage output but you can see these these golem towers are absolutely amazing in this situation yeah i was wo worried for a second there but uh, there's no need really um, what we could do to help our situation is um, add these wall towers here oh no oh no did i just leak oh my god <laughs> that one red hp creep i was thinking about the next wave if i had a tower like like this here yeah this would never have happened all right let's ignore that and focus on the next wave even though such type of uh, leaks are um, a little bit disturbing well the mistake here is obvious these three golem towers could have been spread a little bit they didn't have to be bunched up like this you could have one here one here one here and of course very important uh, this tower here really important um, also you you can place uh, quakes here because as you can see they hit all the creeps that are in this inner circle and uh, another thing is that whenever you are worried that you may leak and uh, the creeps are over on this side you can sell these quakes here and and replace them with some golem towers or something that builds a little bit quicker maybe because these these really don't don't build that quickly but as you can see now now there is no chance uh, of us leaking there is enough time to rebuild the quakes there is enough time to to build some uh, buffing towers here and some of these golem towers 
maybe sh we should add a few of, of these disease towers because they will soak up the effect the curse effect of these creeps because they will be very effective when it comes to uh, finishing off uh, low HP creeps okay now another thing we can do is instead of building straight uh, golem towers we can build uh, gazer towers get them uh, shooting get their damage and and just uh, upgrade some of them into golem towers if that is needed now in this situation um i think the best thing would be to get upgraded quake towers and maybe add a couple more jinx towers and make sure you have enough well towers because now more than ever it's it's very important to have uh well towers i actually didn't see that th these ones were still here and they upgraded i was wondering why i don't have enough uh, money to upgrade my towers here <laughs> that was because of of this quake i will leave one just in case but yeah, these additional Jinx Towers are great. Um, we do need to get the Blacksmiths. Whenever you have Quake level 2, you have also Blacksmith level 2 and Sower level 2. So um, the same uh, is... Uh, important to remember for runic and astro if you have runic astro or laser or ethereal you have access to trickery and also if you have a uh, wisp tower or impulse tower uh, you or flooding tower you have access to the well towers um, just as keep that in in your head because it's, it's very important to not forget to build those and upgrade them whenever uh, that is an option because they are uh, absolutely essential if you want to have a strong defense all right and now we have sold all of our uh, nature towers we need uh, to build some because next wave is uh, earth and also i believe uh, a couple of golem towers here with the disease tower in combination will perform a lot better okay maybe remove these two add them here or maybe build one one more golem here or you could build anything else that that does nature damage actually an impulse would have been nice here but that's not a, a trouble here the most important thing right now is the quake towers here and maybe you need to build some more Maybe we should sell these. Yeah, I will sell the mushrooms and upgrade more quakes. Maybe sell these quakes. Well, now I'm starting to worry. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna kill these creeps. Okay, these uh, quakes were a good addition. These will guarantee that I will not leak. All right, this was a nice save. Uh, more golem towers, I guess. This is a, no, this is a level two. I, I thought for a moment it was a level three elemental. It's a level two. So there is uh, absolutely no reason for us to panic. Although it is 
one of those games i mean elementary defense is one of those games that do um, make people panic a little bit from time to time the thought that the creeps are coming is uh, often scary why did i sell the jinx yeah having a few more jinx is uh, is, is a, always a good idea all right next wave however is fire and we will need to address that what do we have we have vapor towers level two that's probably what we need to focus on right here remove these replace them with vapors actually we have well level two let's upgrade our waves well towers i just realized we definitely need more of the well towers let's just build more well towers all right what else do we want here well next wave will not be a problem because we have so many quake towers we could probably just build more quake towers that's the play here i believe maybe even yeah uh, mushrooms are not bad if you have a few mushrooms that's not a bad idea now we have um level four tower available to us let's build one let's build one right now okay that was enough mushrooms are dealing uh, extra damage to um, full hp creeps if you don't know and that is why um, sometimes i build mushrooms and sell them now uh, i'm a bit worried here uh, that we might just leak but we have a level 4 tower that's dishing out crazy amounts of damage so i guess that's fine we have these golem towers here as a safety measure and what else we need to repeat that i guess maybe just uh, build some gazer towers here that we will upgrade into uh, golem towers as soon as um, as soon as we can all right i think we'll be fine actually i don't expect any leaks okay uh, the only leaks there was just one league that was completely unnecessary you, you just need to place one disease tower near the exit and there will never be a situation where a single low hp creep uh, manages to find its way on the other side of the portal well that's actually a very significant uh, a very significant problem in my defense that i, I wasn't even considering uh, a situation in which something like this might happen i like the idea of uh, having uh, four quake towers here in center actually um let's make sure we have enough well towers we can sell a bunch of other things to make sure we have enough well towers we definitely don't have enough well towers right now uh, 
All right. Um, yeah, I'm a bit worried here. I like these quakes here, but uh, right now they are not gonna deal the the damage that uh, will save us. And quake towers uh, are not that good against raw nodes. For some reason, they're great against anything else. Not that good against the raw node creep. All right, let's add some more of these. Another unfortunate leak. Um, I don't know whether I can run around and um, build quakes and sell them for every single wave. This is very um, tiring. And if you mess up even a little bit, it's not worth it at all. Let's just focus on the basics now. Do we have support towers everywhere now? I see this one well here is not upgraded okay that's that's better okay maybe build one more golem here maybe add some more golems here yeah i think um we should focus on building golem towers right here and what else Yeah, I think Golem Towers are doing a better job against uh, the Ronald wave. Quakes are not that impressive. Well, this is a great spot for the Quake where it hits really uh, many, many creeps. But, unless the spot for the Quake is absolutely fantastic like it is right here, uh, I really don't see them uh, doing um, enough against the Ronalds. Something else I'm noticing here, I don't have enough swallows. But um, I think I'm dead anyway, whatever I do here. I think this is the end. Alright, this way, this game went a little bit better than the first one. And I hope every episode that follows will get better and better and better and my performance um, as a player will uh, continue to become better um, so keep watching subscribe whatever and see you next time